Good afternoon and welcome to a place that is very special to us all in the Formula One community. It's the Hockenheim Ring, home of the German Grand Prix. Always good for a close scrap is Hockenheim. Think back to Alonso, Ricardo, Vettel as recently as 2014, and I'm expecting some more strong racing today. It's 2.8 miles around the Hockenheim ring then, with an average lap speed in excess of 130 miles per hour. The long curved back straight leads into a tight hairpin for the best overtaking opportunity on the circuit. But there are plenty of other options available around the 17 corners here today. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Lando Norris. As with all the drivers at this level, they have a lot of ambition, but Formula One's a daunting step up from any other series, so expectations are high right from the start. That's right, it is a difficult environment to come into. In junior categories, you're competing against drivers with similar levels of experience, but some of these guys in Formula One have been there for over a decade. But I have to say, in this case, it's so far so good. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Reed, Pierre Gasly and Perez, Grosjean, Sainz, Raikkonen and Nico Hülkenberg, Faber, Norris, Devon Butler and Leclerc. Magnussen, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Lance Stroll, Albon, and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Okay, a podium result could be difficult to achieve this race, so let's focus on getting a high points finish.
We're seeing a loss of power from the turbocharger now. Loss of power on the turbo. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for Driver of the Day? For me, it's Kimi Raikkonen, someone who definitely doesn't get enough attention for how well he performs out on the track. It's time to check out the Constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. Well, that was certainly an incredible weekend of racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant for more exciting Formula One action soon.